What's up guys? This is Josh from Gillum's Family Farms. Welcome back. Uh, if you will, go on down, hit subscribe, like button. Uh, if you saw my last couple videos, you know I was actually talking about how nice and beautiful it is here in Oklahoma. Well, this morning we woke up and it's the 30s, pretty cold. Uh, had a fire going last night in the house. It's Oklahoma, man. It's the only state you can live in where you can have snow, a tornado, and an earthquake all on the same day. I remember, oh gosh, showing my age here, probably 15 years ago, we are working on a highway, and there was a chance of snow that night. And I told the guys, I said, there's no way it's gonna snow. If it did, there's no way it'll stick. Because it was like 82 degrees. We were in t-shirts, sweating. About nine hours later, I was in a snow plow, plowing about eight inches of snow, and it was a wide out blizzard. So you never know here in Oklahoma what she's gonna do. But this morning, uh, we're just gonna walk around a little bit. I'm gonna show you some pictures, uh, some videos of the farm. Uh, got a lot of plans, and I'm really excited to have all y'all watch it grow with us. You guys have probably already seen our house. Uh, we lived here about 11 years and I grew up just right down the road and we added on this new addition which I've already talked about but we've got 200 acres here where we live and we got a little more land in another house in a, another town but this is my front yard my place goes about a mile deep. A lot of woods, quite a bit of open, uh, rocky terrain, flat terrain, just a little bit of everything. But we've got pretty much any piece of equipment you need except for heavy equipment. That's something in the future I would like to get to some more heavy equipment to help around with the farm. But let's go check it out. Over here is junk row, which I like to call it equipment row, but my wife calls it junk row. You know, it's our hay hauling trailer, an old uh, hay dolly, a couple old trailers over there, some gates leaning up, another trailer, more trailers, another trailer, which that one's not mine, that's my neighbor's dump trailer I borrowed. Uh, over here is our working chute, our corral. So we don't run as near as many cows as we used to. Uh, so we don't really need something huge, but we got this right here. There's my old dump truck. It's a 69 Ford F650. Uh, we're gonna, future episode, we're gonna get on that and we're gonna see if we can't fix the brakes on it and start hauling some gravel. We got a little storage building over there. We got a little building here. This building here, was actually built when they built this place and started building them a home. They lived in that. It was just a little shack, had a little burning stove in it. But just some more of our implements and whatnot. And over here, on the other side of my sprayer, is the chicken coop. We don't currently have any chickens right now, but that's something we're going to change here in probably the next week because. Our other chickens, pretty much they all died, got caught by varmint or, you know, predators. So we plan on getting some more. There's our shop, our workshop. Pretty good sized shop. A little small dozer. Old tractor. This tractor is pretty neat. It's a Harry Ferguson. That's way before Massey ever joined with them. Uh, another little storage building there. Yeah, implements. There's some more implements over here. As you can see, I've got a lot of junk, which I think it's treasures. Other people call it junk. No big deal. But we're going to thin that out a little bit, clean up around here. We're going to get the old chicken coop going. I've got a lot over here that is already mostly sectioned off and 
it's got hog wire around it. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But the fence got hog wire all the way around it. Uh, it's about an acre and a half. And I've already got an order. I just got to do a little more fencing, fix a few things. And we got a little surprise we're going to bring home put in there. So they got a farmer's market, if you will. We call it the dog trades in a different town. You can buy anything at the dog trades from a pocket knife to a gerbil, you know, cows, horses, chickens, pigs. So I'm thinking about hitting that up in the morning and seeing if they got any game chickens because out here where we live, there's a lot of predators and we'd want them to run free and uh, be free range chickens. But if you get just a regular old chicken, it, it's a goner. You better get some game chickens. So. I hear somebody shooting off in the distance. No telling who that is, probably my brother-in-law. He lives down the road. As you can tell, our wood supply it's dwindling. That's something we need to do here in the near future is fall a few trees and cut them up and split into some firewood. But here's our pond. Uh, it's a decent sized little pond. It's full of bass and crappie. Uh, we got another small pond up there behind my shop. Then we have a pond over where we feed the cows. And I had a new pond built up in the back of our place, which we're not gonna drive all the way up there and show you all the pasture land and all the timber. Cause if you've seen pasture and timber, you've seen it all. But we will be doing work up there in the future. We need to build us a working corral up there also. I got, I got a lot of stuff to do. Gotta feed the dogs real quick again. Uh, got one of my helpers right here. Big off with a reindeer. You a reindeer? Yeah. Which reindeer are you? Rudolph. Rudolph? She's Rudolph. She. I got my other little swamper right yeah. here. Yeah. You say hi, Bailey Joe? Hi. My third one is at a birthday party right now, so. <laughs> Just doing a few chores around the house. I think we're going to go to Chickasha tonight and look at some Christmas lights in the car. So uh, I'm going to try to record a little bit of that and let y'all see what the lights and festivals look like up there. Pretty good helper. Hey, Rudolph. Hey, why is your nose so bright? I don't have a nose. But you're Rudolph. What? Huh? Yay! <laughs> hey, oh. Mr. Waffles. Oh. This is Mr. Waffles. He's oh. old. <laughs> Copper, why are you always got to be barking? <laughs> hmm? Copper, how's your copper boy? Why are you got to be barking? Hey, Senator. Yeah. Of course, you don't bark. Yeah. Never do bark. bark. You don't bark anymore. I get it. No, he don't bark, does he? I got him out. You know what? Can we got him out? You can if you want to. We got to leave here in just a little bit, so just for a minute, okay? Copper, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! You crazy girls. Well, oh, hey, Oreo. You gonna go find a place well, that socks. He's going to find a place to hide. He is. Because of copper. Better watch out. Mittens will get him. The mittens is all bowed up. Copper. Copper. Copper, he gonna get you, boy. No matter how many times these cats scratch him and jump on him, he still thinks he's gonna play with them and they just hiss up and get on him. 
but still cold. We got a chance tomorrow of rain and snow. I don't know. Hey, aren't you cold? You gotta be cold. It's freezing out here, kid. I guess you're just tough, huh? Hey, tough hopper, come here. All right, but anyways, uh, we'll get off here and see if I turn this around. We'll get off here and we'll try to uh, do a little more filming here in a little bit. What's up, guys? We're driving down the road. First time appearing, my super sexy wife, Felicia. Can you say hi, Felicia? <laughs> hi, Felicia, or bye, Felicia? Both of them. <laughs> hey, guys. You got Doctor the Magnificent in the tie dye shirt. And there is Riley Joe. She's been at a birthday party. Rudolph is past smooth <laughs> out. <laughs> She's had a rough day. Uh, Riley Joe, uh, I introduced your sisters earlier. So, can you say hi? Hi, guys. <laughs> She's got her own YouTube channel. She's starting. Uh, once she gets a few videos posted, uh, we'll probably share the link to one of our movies. And uh, be sure to go and follow and subscribe. Well, while I was sitting in the car, so I thought I'd get out for a second and check it out. The leg off the Christmas story. It's a major award. Pretty, pretty cool.